everyone. Welcome to episode 10 of Counting Stitches. Uh, my name is Bianca. I'm from the Netherlands. And this is my little corner where I talk about crafting. Uh, at the moment mostly knitting. There will be some crochet at some point. Um, yeah, and everything else I can think of really. I don't have a set thing I do. Um, for those coming back, welcome back. For those who are new, or if you stick around for a while, I don't know you do. My YouTube is kind of quiet. I don't mind. I talk to myself either way. <laughs> but yeah, let's go talk about some stuff. I have some finished objects because I said in episode 9 I would have a finishing month this time around. No testing. And I kept my word this time around. I have some... FOs, I have some hoes, <laughs> I have a UFO, I have one ball of yarn for tradition I can show, and no new pastels, just like I promised. I need to finish one more thing and then I can cast on my uncle's sweater which we've talked about previously. I'm kind of excited for that one. I don't have all the yarn yet, but I think I can manage to scrounge around some more in the stash and find something. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's start with the whips. And this is the one I've shown before. Let me shuffle some stuff around because I'm not particularly organized. So I do make sure I have everything within reach. <laughs> and from that point on, it's a free for all. So, and also don't mind my hair, it's really doing its own thing, so I just put it up and in about half an hour it will go fizz on me, so. Growing it out, I I had a bus cut previous year and I'm growing that one out, so that's gonna take a while. And not the first time I've done it, yeah, <laughs> at some point the hair gets in the way. First, finished up. This is Sorrel. Uh, I've shown it before. I did before the sleeves on it. There you go. My first time doing short rows ever. Like literally ever. It was good practice. Um, I've done a couple of more short row thingies on projects I've tested from Marzena, but this was the very first time and I did it in front of. Um, yeah, so this is sort of wool and twine designs or yarn by uh, Wolmert Werve, who is from the Netherlands as well. This is their sock base, I think. I don't have the label anymore because I'm organized like that. But yeah, um, it's a little. Sh Excuse me. Just move on. Uh, a little short, um, gets me oh, right at the hip, like covering the butt would have been awesome, but hey, you work with what you've got, and I did not have any more yarn, I literally have that much left, so I had to do three quarter sleeves, and I knew that going into the project, this is meant as a transitional piece. I can layer it, I can wear it with a skirt, I can also wear it with pants. It is fine and it's at the length it is, so yeah. Um fun pattern. The little um feathery things were a challenge. I just grabbed the crochet hook to pull them up. Way easier than doing it with a needle in my opinion. Um short rows were a chance because I had never done that before. My grandmother um, didn't do them. So once I picked it back up, the knitting, um, I'm learning a lot of new things. I'm enjoying that. It keeps my brain engaged. I really enjoy that kind of pattern. Now you would think this is entirely purled. I don't have issues with purling an object. Um, but this was worked inside out. I see I've already introduced it to a cat. So I will need to put that back in. Um, 
yeah, it's comfy. It's not too warm. It is, well, it is like 18 degrees Celsius out here right now. I can wear this without a, a jacket on it and just be nice, comfy, not too toasty. I'm enjoying it. I've worn it. Um, not to work because I'm clumsy and I will rip a hole in it. But yeah, I really enjoyed this pattern and I would make it again. Um, if not for myself, then for somebody else because a lot of people like the, the details on this. Not sure if I met Gage. Uh, I don't believe I did a Gage swatch for this. It turned out fine, really. Um, sometimes I swatch, sometimes I don't. In this case. Too excited to get started? I didn't. So, I don't think I mentioned where you can find me on internet. You can find me here. <laughs> I'm on Ravelry as Bianca SCH. I'm on Instagram as Jeopardize with an H after the J. And that's about it. That's where you can find me. And here. Always here. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Sorrel. Putting Sorrel away. Second finished object is something I've also spoken about before. It is a vintage 70s pattern I found on Etsy. This is my rather rumpled up copy. <laughs> um, yeah. I altered this pattern before I'm showing it. Um, there's supposed to be a ruffle on the neck. There, uh, it's a ruffle on the sleeves. I don't want that. I'm going for a slightly Edwardian look. Um, so I altered the pattern. I also added more buttons in the back, and I, um, because I omitted the ruffles on the neck, I did an extra row or two to lengthen the le neck slightly. There are some pictures of this on my Instagram as well as my Ravelry, so you can find it there. Um, I'm just showing show English. Uh, just showing the pat the sweater. There we go. Sweater. I'm just gonna show the sweater and, and talk about it. Um, yeah. I've got some really good reactions on this. I haven't worn it yet because I'm still making the other pieces. First time wearing this will be on I I've tried it on. I will I've tried it on. But uh, I haven't worn this a full day yet, so um, yeah, there we go. This is it. It is a lace sweater. Let me just put my hands in. Diamond shaped um, with a neck collar and then increasing for the yoke. And then you work the body. You work it flat, by the way. You work this entire thing flat and then there's the seam on the back, which... Uh, you can kind of see. You can also see I forgot to cut off some ends there, which I will do later. Um, yeah, this is the back seam is right there. I don't live in the back. I don't mind. Um, like I said, I lengthened top collar by two rows, and I altered the cuffs as well because it was just a ruffle and I wanted buttons for the slightly late Victorian Edwardian look so I just made a little cuff I decreased at the end give it a little slight balloon effect decreased and added oh that's why you can see the thing is it's inside out give me a second They're pretty interchangeable if you don't add buttons, so... <laughs> my buttons were on the inside, so it was inside out. <laughs> oh, shit may happen, right? Okay, so... Continuing on... I just added... A row of buttons. Here we go. Come on. There we go. And... I added... Button holes. So can just be closed up. They are functional. I've tested them. Um, it's a bit fiddly when once you've got it on, like 
with any shirt really that has these tiny, tiny buttons. Um, I'm assuming, well I know for sure, my buttonholes will slightly stretch. Um, there we go. I'm just doing up a few to show that they're functional. And they're a little tight still. So this is them functional, they're on the inside of the wrist. How are they? They are lying. They're on the outside of the wrist, I'm lying. Um, there's five on each, each cuff. They're a little shiny. I got them at a thrift store. I have a thing with buttons. I love buttons. I have a lot of original vintage ones. I did not have enough buttons to uh, match the back and the front, so um, and the buttons I had left were not small enough for the cuffs. So there are shell buttons on the back. Like I said, I added a few more because I was afraid my head would be too big to fit through. <laughs> yeah, um, this took me forever. One point five, one point twenty-five millimeter hook. Um, durable cotton number 10, I used about 5 of those sausage thingies. Um, durable is also a local, no, well, a, a, a company based in the Netherlands, so, um, yeah. I'm now working on the other parts for this project, should be worn around November to Comic Con. Um, that's not knitting or crochet. Though the stockings I'm making, the grey ones from previous episode before that one, um, are meant to go with that costume. So that's knitting. Um, haven't worked on them for this month. Might work on them for next month because I'm finishing up some socks for my mom at the moment, which I will show. Because that's the hoe. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my every every now and then on and off project. Like we had a difficult relationship because <laughs> everything was this tiny. By the time I had finished the sleeves, the the collar was already difficult slightly for me handling so much. Um, finishing and adding buttons took me another week because finishing stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of projects that just need finishing, so Sorrel just needed a sleeve and a half, uh, this needed half a sleeve and buttons, uh, I can keep going, you will see what I what I mean when I get to my UFO actually. Yeah, good project, uh, Was I started it as my lockdown project, it took me about two years to start, of to finish, yeah start to finish. I'm enjoying it. It isn't a tight fitting thing, but it gives me some elegant curves. Now, I'm not an elegant lady. Um, I'll admit that. I'm clumsy. And it's wide. It will get stained. I'm taking a huge risk just swirling my tea <laughs> now. But it was an enjoyable project nevertheless. Um, would look absolutely stunning in black. It would look so good in a purple or a red. I can't get myself to do it right now. At some point I might just dive into it for a second time. I did have some issues on the sleeves where I kept forgetting the repeat rows and had to check back and was fiddling around so that made it take a little bit longer. The result is really, really worthwhile. Um, yeah, so vintage the Victorian. Blouse. I omitted the ruffles, I omitted, well, I, I altered the cuffs, a good pattern. Fine. Moving on, let me put that on there as well, because I'm keeping it together. I finished a sock. <laughs> well, actually, um, this is the Sauber Ball. I bought at the Handwerk Purse in Zola like a month, two months ago. Um, I made 
um, heal us to suck. So if I pull this off, it will go back to a tube. It's a World War II pattern from what I've gathered. Um, it will fit anyone as long as you get the circumference right. Mom wanted an extra couple of st stitches, so I did. It's just one big tube, really. And you work it in around. You alternate some stitches, like you cast on it's a multiple of eight, <laughs> and you just every four rounds you scooch over one. I just um, decreased for the toes, so it's a regular toe decreasing. Um, I don't have that much experience with socks, but this is just simple enough. I can manage. No problem. I'm working on the second one. Still in the silver ball. Um, I'm about well, I'm past half point at this point, I guess. There aren't a d identical mom who does that going in. So, yeah. And this is my project I need to finish before I can start something new. Um, should find. I work on this while traveling, I work on this while waiting for stuff. There's no issue. I'm doing this one. Um, I I don't know where I found the pattern. I heard about it probably someone else's blog. Yeah. Mom already tried this one on. It fits. So I could start the second one. Just need to finish them up. Mom has diabetes, so no seaming on her foot, um, which is fine. I did try the Kitchener stitch, so once I block it, it should be just straight edge across. I'll admit I don't like the Kitchener stitch. Uh, I knit right-handed. I sew left-handed. It's a thing. <laughs> um, I do not enjoy it. I really don't. Let's see. But I did because I wanted to try the no steam thing for mom. She's happy with it. It's all fine. I, I'm not making it a habit though. I might try the toe up. I've heard that with toe up socks you don't have seams at also. So could try that and I think you can even modify this pattern very easily to go make it go toe up. So take check that. I haven't, like I said, I started doing socks recently, so I'm learning a lot about it still. It's one of the things that keeps it entertaining for me. I think we're going into. Oops, I already showed you the hoe. So. It was a whip as well, so now we're just cruising right into whips, um, which is my dress. And it doesn't have a name because it's just me playing around. Um, I, I've, I'm fond of calling this a business at the front, party at the back, but when the ribbon wasn't on it yet, it definitely was a party at the front. <laughs> Couldn't wear that out in public at all. So let me go grab really far away right here I finished the top part for this um, and I realized that you can work a dress top to bottom no issues I wanted a horizontal cable you cannot work a horizontal cable when you work top down in one piece so there's a bias and this is it uh, my plan was to finish everything, and I mean everything else, before I started the skirt part. So, and what I mean by everything is ribbing, sleeves, anything that comes before the skirt. So, when I start the skirt, I can just work down, it's a middle finger, I'm sorry. Um, work down until I have no more yarn left, because the idea is to put as much length in this as I can and I don't want to stop at some point thinking well 
I still need to do the ribbing and I still need to do the sleeves and I still need to do so I I need to stop here because I might run out of yarn and then end up with a lot of leftovers because this isn't the kind of yarn I can combine easily with something I have so I want to use if not all most of it so this is the dress business at the front party at the back with the um, ribbing and a v-neck uh, it's a one by one and it hits me right about there so it's modest i've had uh, lower cleavages there's nothing visible it's like right about here which is very nice it also just goes around nicely ends up high in the back um the sleeves are three quarter length with a pretty long ribbing which I, was the idea i had for this so i'm going with that i did a cabled increase let me just that right up on there cabled increase on the back i did a normal increase on the front that's why this is still a back seam by the way but this bit is a normal seam that's why i call it business at the front party at the back because the fun part is in the back um there's a some lace work on the arm as well and this will make its way back into the skirt uh, once i've get gotten to that point tried it on it's fine the blocking it will be even better it hits me at waist half length at this point and I am now working on the cable um, and I switched back to my straight needles for this because I feel safer with my straight needles really <laughs> like I enjoy working in the round on sweaters it was an entirely new thing when I picked it up again but Um, when working on something like this, it's tiny. I just want to be able to just put it away easily. And yeah, I like the extra grip because once when I'm doing a cable and I need to switch, I can just put it up upright like this, put them on the cable needle, hook the cable needle in the back. And keep going or hook the cable needle in the front and keep going i like this dexterity for just having the needle here it's like an extra arm so that's why i switched back i will be working the skirt part in the round again um, yeah for this one i switch using a three millimeter hook um needle needles for the ribbing, I used a 2.75 millimeter, and I used uh, for no for only for the sleeve bits. I used a 2. Point. Am I lying? Nope, I'm not lying. For the sleeves, I used a 2.75, and for the collar bit, I just used a 3 millimeter. I could have gone back to a 2.5, but I don't like tight stuff around my neck i already have enough issues breathing as it is i don't need my clothing to strangle me so i'm doing a simple cable see some purl stitches and it will be turned like this now, once i block this this is going to be a thing it will be a little wider and the details will be better visible um, I don't want this to be tight fitting, like I said, I enjoy breathing, so from what I have gathered, I need about 60 to 65 repeats of this pattern, I'm at 25 at the moment, so I have a long way to go, I'm about, I have the first <laughs> half of my body covered about, look, there you go, so it goes side to side there I'm about this much short before the first round well first half 
um, no, this will stretch because it's horizontal. You don't want to put it on and have it go like that because it won't look pretty. So I am, let me sit on my knitting needle. Um, I'm giving it extra space. Uh, I am not giving it so much space that uh, I need to put it in with the tiny pleats uh, on the waters. I just want it comfortably fitting. A uh, good part is that my bust is 44 inches, 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 or about 97 centimeters. Um, nope, I'm lying again. No, I'm not lying. Um, and my, I work on a lot of tests with inches, so I know the inches better at this point than I do the centimeters. 44 inch, 97, um, I am lying, and 112 centimeters, and then uh, 38 inches around the waist, which should be 92 or 94, or might be even that 97 I've been talking about. Either way, my bust is bigger than my waist, so it should be, even if I put it just in like at the circumference of the top, it should fit. You're right. Um, after that, I'm gonna pick up stitches on the um, on the edge. There are two stitches here, which are a reverse. I'll just just stuck it on the back, so I should be able to just pick up stitches, do two rounds, and increase really rapidly to make it an A line. So that's the plan for this moment. Um, then at the bottom, very bottom, I will add the circles, the lace circles I've shown you on the bodice. And hopefully I am able to do an eye cord edge at the hem. I haven't figured out exactly if I would like that look yet because I I have tension issues with that one <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't curl all the way so I need to practice some more and just do it basically. For this I am using a thrifted um, yarn. This was a new cone when, when, I, when, when I got it. I made this stand for it. There was a piece of wire on the top it got loose so I can just plunk this here grab the plunk it there properly grab this put it through here and put it on the ground and it will just go slowly unwinding itself as I make no work for me which I enjoy I just need to reattach the the wire here It's an easy enough thing to do. Um, it's also a Dutch brand. I don't remember the name. I lost the tag. I know it's still in operation, so it isn't technically vintage. Um, it is also usable for the knitting machine if you have one. I do not. It, it's not that big thread. I thought I think I said it, it, it's three ply. I talked about this cone in like episode four or five, something like that. If you want to go look it back, um, yeah, it's fun. I'm enjoying this pattern because it's just me and my brain, and we're fighting <laughs> over decisions. I had to do like twelve different cable patterns before I got stuck on this one. <laughs> But yeah, we're having fun with it, and, 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 and progress is progress, right? <laughs> I put this on uh, on Diane, which is my dress form, um, and she's she has buttons, so I can just put her to my measurements, and I put this on, and I will just look at it. <laughs> like, do I like what I'm doing? Or I'm, or am I gonna rip this back? I did do realize that when I put it on Di on Diane, that um. I cannot wear this with a light bra. 
there needs to be something dark underneath because light colors will show through. No issue if I know that. I just need to keep that in mind whenever I wear it. <laughs> so it's the dress. Which is just my brain. No pattern. I call it business at the front, party at the back. It has sleeves now. It has ribbing now. I'm working on a waist. And by the time September ends, and we're waking up that uh, Green Day guy, uh, Green Day guy. I can talk about it again because I'm still going. So moving on to the UFO, I opened up a cabinet in my house to look for my three millimeter hook needles, no hooks, needles, and I found this, <laughs> and there's still yarn attached. So I have absolutely no clue what it is like I have I have multiple things in progress I'm honest um, like I said I have a lot of things that are nearly finished just need a little couple of things and this apparently is one of them it's a shawl and it's pretty 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 big already so I just need to finish it there's a stitch marker on it not sure why. Because it isn't in the in the loop to just hold it together. So let me just pull that out a little bit. Um yeah, there's a V-stitch. There is some um, back loop only single crochets. I'm assuming I'm increasing somewhere. Might be in the singles. I'm not sure. I do like the color. My friend also likes the color. Um, I'm gonna finish this. Like, it's a nice self scrubbing stuff going on there. Um, I have a stitch mark on that end as well. So I might be marking the first and the last one for the back loop singles so I don't miss out on one um, I think ooh, there's the increase actually hmm I think if I look at the pattern it might be the Atlantic lace shawl because um, I've made that before and I I used to uh, just put them like this and then add a side panel and use them as a as a guardie like flip this back a little like that add some strings and some wooden just attach with some side panels so I think it's it's that uh, I don't know what my intention was for this scarf because it's usually not a color I tend to wear uh, I haven't had anyone complain I forgot about a project for them, so I don't think it was a project for them or or anyone else. Um, hmm. I also marked the center. <laughs> like I really have no clue. <laughs> this is fun. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish it. I uh, might put it up for sale. Maybe someone else will want it. Give it a good home. It's a really squishy, soft fabric, so. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find a home for it, really. Um, I just need to figure out what size hook I've been using for this. Um, and then finish, block, weave in some, some MVs. And put this on the wrist, I think. Like I said, I just pulled open a cupboard looking for my 3mm needles in a cupboard here. And it was right there. Well, I've been working with my in the round needles for quite some time, so um, I shouldn't be surprised if something <laughs> something got forgotten along the way because my ADHD brain will just delete stuff it figures I no longer need. Yeah, like there's there's hardly anything left. I can just finish wash block yeah. 
fine, she's fine, <laughs> but you do feel pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah. The heck is this? And I know, I know for a fact I have in the cupboard over here, there is a um, cardig yeah, cardigan in there for my friend with a filet crocheted roses in it. Because she was still debating on whether or not she wanted sleeves. Because she didn't even need enough yarn for sleeves. So she would go get some more yarn once it was back in stock. And uh, She hadn't come back to me on it yet. Uh, it has been there for five or six years now. I reminded her. It didn't get back with me. At some point I will just finish it and put it in a mailbox. Because... <laughs> It's a shame to have something, you know, that looks it looks good. It, and she will look good in that color. Just have it in, in my cupboard looking well, sad, really. So I'm going to do that. I did give my friend the skull, Lost Souls uh, shawl. She loved it. <laughs> Carrying around the souls of her enemies. Which if she gets to driving a little more dangerously, she might. <laughs> so yeah, then I have one more left. So my my four most mentioned friend, the one with the lost souls, a shawl. We have this tradition where we go on vacation together. She's single, I'm single. We just go on road trips. So we have gone to. Portugal, where our tradition started, because we ran into this local yarn store there, and I cut a couple of balls of baby yarn, and I made a corner to corner blanket while we were there. Well, I started it there, finished it at home, because vacation, you know, stuff happens, you do things, you just lounge and do nothing. It also it was a 2.5 millimeter hook, so it took me a little while. Um, after that, the year after that, so 2018, we went to Portugal, to the Algarve. And 2019, we went to London, where I found some yarn. And I made a purple star blanket. Bright purple. I added some orange scrap yarn from home. And well, then 220 happened, so nothing there. And 221. We did a local road trip here because the country was slowly backing up again. Oh, back, oh, opening back up again. Just let my cat go swimming in this water bottle. Um, we found we went to the medieval fort near the German border, uh, which is called Burzanga. Uh, we lounged around there. And we, on the way back, we found a um, local yarn shop in Plachtwerder. There I bought, bought, uh, uh, um, I bought some local to me yarn. Because um, it's still close to my house, but okay. It was Schipjes. Um, Schipjes is a Dutch company. Put it back there. Um, yeah, it's it, Dutch is, it's a Dutch company, they have some fun colors, so I picked out some retro colors and I'm making a retro inspired blanket. There is no time limit on when I need to finish said projects. So I'm, I still have the yarn in a basket on my table, looking very decorative. I will finish that at some point. <laughs> it's not very high on my priority list. You can only make so many baby blankets before you run out of friends to give to people, right? So this time we had another road trip. She came here and we did some driving around, just visiting um, smaller towns. And we went swimming and that kind of stuff. So we found a young stuff. I was like, well, it's fine, you know. But I'm not making another baby blanket because I did that for three years in a row. 
I want some of these things. So we got a, a ball of, and I know I got it. I know I put it on a stack of stuff. We got a ball of opal sock yarn. And I believe opal is actually a German company. I just like the colors. There's various tints of yellow and some slight pinks in there. And I was like, well, I will make some socks for this year. Uh, because I've done three baby blankets, I want something else. So this is Opal Africa. Uh, it is pullover and sock wool, which it says on the label like that in German. Um, it is 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide. You can wash it at 30 degrees, do not put it in the dryer. Which kind of makes sense, right? And it's meant for 2.5 hook or needles. Um, and there is... Give me some links on here, would you please? There is 425 meters on here, which is 100 grams. <coughs> I have no idea what that is in yards. I don't do yards. If it says on the label, I can tell you. If not, I think it's like 100 less or something like that. Um, Google is your friend. You think it had that? So, Kevin's okay, still there. He is right here. So, if I'm moving a little weirdly, I'm afraid of sitting on my cat. The color is 11163. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Now, they told me that there might be a sock pattern in here, which I doubt. Actually, there is. It's in German, so there is. I'll make it bigger. If you recall, I got 52 weeks of socks a while back um, with the intention of just practicing a little bit more on doing socks of the waist. So once my friend and I got home, tradition is she gets yarn, I make something, we find someone to play. That's the tradition we have. I'm already making her socks. I have sock yarn coming out of my nose for her. <laughs> so she ain't getting this socks. She ain't. I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Never mind. <laughs> this is the first tradition project I'm keeping for myself. So we picked this off the shelf and just looked for pattern. If you can see that right there, we found one. So I do need to finish some stuff. Um, I am gonna finish my stockings first. And it's just finding a piece of paper or something. And I picked out the pattern called Stone. Well, we did actually. It looks like this. I wanted something simple, no lace, no cables, no nothing, and this is just a textured pattern, really. Um, there will be some new things in here, like cast on, long tail, or the German twisted cast on. I've never done that. Should be fun. Um, it is a top-down pattern by Tatiana Kulikova. Um, yeah, but I need to finish some stuff first before I can start on it. Um, so I'm finishing my mom's sock, then I'm going to start Darth Vader's sweater, and I'm finishing my stockings for with the 
white sweater first as well. In between that and now, I'm going to start a night yarn. So it will go in a drawer and I will have this book visible so I can remember. Because that's why I put the paper in there, I need to remember. <laughs> and my brain is not that good on the remembering bit. So I'm doing that. Um, yeah, this. I'm not saying I will do socks for every trip we take right now, because it's a yearly thing, it's around the same time. We just skipped 2020, because stuff happened. And if you miss that stuff, kudos to you. Um, so yeah, the plan is on doing some other trips as well. So. We do take multiple trips a year, but there's just the August trips or the September trips on which I get some yarn. Because if I get yarn on every trip we go on, my house will explode. Um, or I need to marry someone who has a really, really big house and is very content with just having me as his girlfriend or something. <laughs> I need space. Yeah, so uh, for this month that was all the yarn I got. Um, I did check on Castle Fest for yarn. I did see some yarn. It was too expensive. It didn't matter to. Uh, I went to Middle Earth Winschoten with my my little brother. <laughs> I say that mockingly because the dude's like too <laughs> like hey, way up there. <laughs> so uh, it's it's still my little brother though. <laughs> And I, there was no yarn there either. There were no books there either. Because I'm a big book buyer. So instead I got a, a mug. Which is pretty. Yeah. So I don't get yarn all the time. I do have some semblance of restraint at points. Other things I need to mention. Oh, we did. Oops. I brought him back a sweater I made like two years ago. Because I found out I'm not wearing it. So I can make something else with it. It's chunky though. And I don't like working with chunky things. So I'm just ripping it back, putting it away, and putting it back. The sweater's not. Taking up space or gathering dust. It's not it's a pro. Uh, plans for coming month. I'm recording a day early, by the way. Because it is now the 31st. And tomorrow is the 1st. But I'll be working. So I don't have the time to record. So I figured I'd do it today. Spend some time with y'all and just talk. Um, plans for the coming month. Finish my mom's sock. Finish the waistband on the sweater. And start my uncle's sweater. Well, waistband on a dress, not a sweater. Um, I'm also working on some Halloween related stuff because I do scare acting. So in our, I'm very scary and stuff. Um, so I don't know how much time I will have because I'm building a rat. For that. I still need to rip back the bands on my rosemary which have been released so check out Marzena's website because um, I did not have I don't like the uniform color on it really but I have a tint of slightly darker pink so I might do that or I go green really do some aggressive color blocking there um, not sure yet still thinking on it Leaving it as is, 
five moments. I might work on my stocking for a bit. The grey one for underneath my costume. Like I said, it's all depending on how much time I have left because between now and October I need to finish a person sized breath. <laughs> which, which, which is not something you can say very often. Do my food. Um, yeah, mom gave me permission to print out some new patterns, so I can plan ahead, and that might be just it for now. I don't have anything special going on, um, I haven't done the tutorial for the cat spotting yet, because lack of time. I was finishing up a costume for Castle Fest as well, as you know. And then coming back, my I had like a week and a half, and then my friend would be here, and she has these allergies, so I needed to make sure my house was safe. So I could have done more. It didn't happen. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just slowly chugging along. It, really. um, so that's it for my end for this month. Um, I hope to see you all at the end of September. Let's wake up the Green Day guy together. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, let me know. Like I'd lost some interaction at this point. Um tutorial to come if I have some time this month. Uh, I'll also be updating my Christmas tree hat pattern or Ravelry. It's one of two patterns I have there. The other one is the Clover Pullover which is free. Um, I'm adding some links and for uh, uh, tutorials on how to do the crocodile stitching around and how to decrease on the crocodile stitch on the round as well. Mm, so I hope to see you next month. I hope everything is well with you. And like if yeah, like something here. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry as Bianca S C H uh, on Instagram as Jeopardize H after the J. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye everyone.